Yo, it's OG, the old gangster. I do not fix it, dip my dentures. I don't need them when I spit. I bite like Matlock with Tourette's. So get your pencils, get your paper. Lose your nerves like water vapor. I'm like Picasso in a ventilator. And this video will educate you. We will draw the man called Wheezy. My man Meryl's gonna make it easy. Pause the video at the end of each step. Draw what you see is what I suggest. Hit the link in the video description. Pop every pill in your prescription. Follow the guide, learn your pace. Soon you'll be drawing Wheezy's face. If you mess up, eat your fiber. Know all the trolls have no subscribers. And all them haters pop Viagra. And the true players flow like Niagara. Step 1. Draw the three shapes that you see. Notice their size and placement in relation to the edges of this piece of paper. Step 2. Add in the hair shape. Hair moves constantly, so the placement of these shapes do not have to be perfect. Try to focus more on the trapezoidal shape in between the two hair shapes. Step 3 is one of the more difficult steps. Try to take your time and observe its placement and its subtleties. Notice that the fist is like a square shape tilted to the side on top of a triangle shape. Step 4. Add the two shapes for the shoulders. Step 5. Add the shapes for the eyes and the teardrops. Step 6. Add the two shapes for the nose and the shadow below the nose. Step 7. Add the three shapes for the mouth. The sh third shape on the top is a highlight above the lip. Step 8. Add the shapes to the hair. The most important of these shapes is the ear and the earring to your right side. Also, be sure to add the double line for his chain. Step 9. Take extra time on this step. It is very important for the likeness. Little Wayne has very complex eyes. Try to see each shape and where it fits within the bigger shape. Step 10. Now it's time to make his 4,335 tattoos. Little Wayne has more ink than a pen factory. Don't stress out while doing these. Not even I drew each one correctly. Step 11. More tattoos coming your way. Draw in the letters B and Y and improvise around the armpit. Step 12. That's a glowing bird to the left. If you don't like glowing birds, improvise. Step 13. I think that's the word concrete written across his hand. If it's not, I apologize, little Wayne. Step 14. Make some squiggly thingies on his neck. Every rapper needs at least one squiggly thingy. Step 15. I think those are dominoes on his left arm. His bodyguards would not let me shoot him with a tranquilizer dart, so I'm not sure. Unless if you're a little Wayne historian, draw what you see or write your own subliminal message. Hey, it's Merrill. Now it's time for the shading tutorial. Um, if you mess up, uh, make sure that you hit the first image that says, if you mess up, click here. And there is going to be an extended shading tutorial, which I'm going to post for this video, that's going to break down uh, the shading process even more, give you some notes to go by, make it as easy as possible. You're going to see me shade right here, the extended shading tutorial is going to be a lot more in-depth. Okay, first thing I recommend that you do, below this video, there's a link in the video description. You're going to see the shading at different stages if you scroll all the way down the screen. If you hit the link and scroll all the way down the screen, that'll make it a lot easier. Um, throw everything that I've taught you to this point out the window. I am do well, not exactly everything. But uh, I'm doing something different this time. I really wanted to challenge myself with the shading. And uh, I really haven't been a big fan of charcoal to this point. Um, I don't know. But I, I'm somebody who needs to rest my hand on the paper. And uh, a lot of artists get over that in time. I'm somebody who never uh, has gotten over that. I never got that uh, you know, strong line quality to my drawings. I need to stabilize my drawing uh, by resting my hand on it and that prevented me from getting really good with charcoal but you know what I, I decided I wanted to push this um, I've seen some really
great videos on YouTube uh, from other artists, and there's a lot of talent that is uh, uh, coming out right now. Uh, and anyway, I wanted to uh, I wanted to experiment with charcoal. If you notice, I did a few layers of charcoal in the background. Um, I'd put the charcoal down, I'd brush it, I'd put another layer down, I'd brush it again. Um, and this is drawing paper. This is not, um, you know, th this is not uh, printer paper. This wouldn't work with printer paper because it's so smooth. Uh, but, um, you yeah, know, I'm using drawing paper, did a layer, brushed it. Um, I want to point out one of my mistakes. If you notice, there is a, um, a texture uh, that's kind of going on and that's because I was leaning on cardboard if you look at the background you see like little dots and y you want to pay attention to the surface that you're drawing on which I didn't do I'll fix it later you'll see it uh, but um, I was leaning on a piece of cardboard and I pressed on that cardboard so much I guess over the years uh, I've had that as my background um, you know, it's gotten really thin, and you see these grooves. So when you're working with charcoal, you have a lot more of a chance of leaving uh, uh, imprinting. And when I work with pencil, I use the same charcoal, you know, underneath. Um, you know, I, I didn't have that issue. So charcoal, you're a little bit extra sensitive to making a print, and that's essentially what I did, you know, when you see those dots in the background. Um, I am... I am probably shading a total of two hours on this. If you want to do this, you really got to take your time. Uh, I, I kind of broke my rules. I, I always started with the eye. You know, I've, I've told people over the years, yeah, start out with the eye, work your way out. And I've really gone left to right over the years. Again, throw this out the window. This one, I went right to left. Just wanted to experiment. You know, I'm, I'm always out to try things new, try things differently. And I've noticed with some of my other drawings, the right side is a little bit weaker than the left. So I wanted to start out on the right. That's just me coaching me. That might be different for you. But uh, that's something that I wanted to try to do. Um, yeah, I got the background in. That's really important. Um, I made that a neutral tone so that you have lights and darks in the foreground. You're going to see me use a Conti crayon at the end, a white Conti crayon. Uh, I had some extra highlights to it. Um, I think it came out pretty well. Um, okay, now let's talk about those tattoos. Yeah, that's uh, if that's a real challenge. I, I actually have seen Little Wayne requests. People have left tons and tons of Little Wayne requests on my channel, and I think that I have not done it to this point because I was like, all right, I have to, I'm going to spend forever on the tattoos. And what I did, I just put it dark in pencil first. Kind of looked at the image that I was working from. Um, there was a strong highlight. I'd put it in. I'd draw it in dark first. If the if there was a highlight, um, I would erase. So you you see a little bit of differentiation with the original marks of the tattoo. And then after I had the the first marks done, then I would put a layer of charcoal over that, and I'd start erasing. I, I'd start uh, adding a little, taking away a little very much like my pencil drawing process. Um, very important that you notice, this is not just a charcoal drawing. Look, I'm using pencil as well. So you can use, you can combine pencil and charcoal. Um, I wish I said that a little bit earlier, um, but, uh, you know, I'm sure you've seen me with the pencil tip. I'm combining the, uh, the 6B, uh, 4B, uh, 2B pencils with the charcoal, and one actually reinforces the other. That slip sheet that you're seeing me use is uh, extra important in this video um, because, like I said, I, I'm one of those artists who rests his hand on the paper. Uh, never got out of the habit of doing that, so you better believe I'm using a slip sheet. Uh, if you're a rookie with charcoal, it's kind of important that you do that too. Um, I'm putting on the finishing touches, or I'm starting to. Um, I'm, I'm shading in the hand. I'm, I'm stepping back from it, and I'm looking at it from a distance. I'm trying to notice the tones as much as I can. Um, I really like how the face came out. Uh, I really like how the hair came out, like how the background and the arms came out. I'm trying to put the finishing touches on the hand to make it at the same level as everything else. And um, you, you really want to uh, work out those tones. If you don't have a set, make sure that you get a set of... Um, 
uh, drawing pencils. Uh, those are extremely handy tools. Um, you could get those. Um, you could get my recommendations on my website when you hit the link in the video description. Uh, it goes into the supplies that I use uh, for each one of my videos. Anyway, I hope this was informative. I hope that this helped. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.